All praises. All praises to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All praises due. Peace and blessing to the elect of Israel who are out there practicing or following the law of liberty. So we're going to get right into this one. This comes from one of the apostles, one of the 12 chosen of Yahweh Shai himself. The Apostle Peter. In this lost book, we're continuing with our lost book series that we've been on for the last couple of months. This particular lost book is called the, Apost the Apocalypse of Peter. The Apocalypse of Peter. So, we're going to get right into this. No commentary needed. Many of them will be false prophets and will teach diverse ways and doctrines of perdition. But these will become sons of perdition. And then power will come unto my faithful ones who hunger and thirst and are afflicted and purify their souls in this life. And he will judge the sons of lawlessness. And furthermore, the Lord said, let us go into the mountain. Let us pray. And going with him, we, the 12 disciples, begged that he would show us one of our brethren, the righteous who are gone forth out of the world in order that we might see of what manner of form they are. And having taken courage, might also encourage the men who are here with us. And as we prayed, suddenly there appeared two men standing before the Lord towards the east, on whom we were not able to look. For there came forth from their continents a ray as of the sun, and their remnant was shining, such as eye of men never saw. For no mouth is able to express or heart to conceive the glory with which they were endured and the beauty of their appearance. And as we looked upon them, we were astounded, for their bodies were whiter than any snow and ruddier than any rose. And the red thereof was mingled with the white, and I am utterly unable to express their beauty. For their hair was curly and bright and seemly both of their face and shoulders, as it were a wreath woven of spocknard and divers colored flowers, or like a rainbow in the sky, such was their seamlessness. Seeing therefore their beauty, we became astounded at them, since they appeared suddenly. And I approached the Lord and said, Who are these? And he said to me, These are your brethren, the righteous, whose forms ye desire to see. And I said to him, And where are all the righteous ones? And what is the eon in which they are and have this glory? And the Lord showed me a very great country outside of this world, exceedingly bright with light, in the air there lighter with ray, lighted with rays of the sun, and the earth itself blooming with unfading flowers, and full of spices and plants, and fair flowering and incorruptible, and bearing blessings of fruit. And so great was the perfume that it was born thence even unto us. And the dwellers in that place were clad in the remnant of shining angels, and their remnant was like unto their country. And the angels hovered about them there. And the glory of the dwellers there were equal. And with one voice that sang praises alternately to the Lord power, Yahweh, rejoicing in that place. The Lord said to us, this is the place of your high priest, the righteous men. And over against that place, I saw another squalled it. And it was the place of punishment. And those who were punished there in the punishing angels had their remnant dark like the air of the place. And there were certain there hanging by the tongue. And these were the blasphemers of the way of the righteousness. And under them lay fire burning 
and punishing them. And there was a great lake full of flaming mire in which were certain men that perverted righteousness and tormented angels afflicted them and tormenting angels afflicted them. And there are also others, women, hanged by their hair over that mire that bubbled up. And these were they who adorned themselves for adultery. And the men who mingled with them in the defilement of adultery were hanging by the feet and their heads in that mire. And I said, I did not believe that I should come into this place. And I saw the murderers and those who conspired with them cast into a certain straight place full of evil snakes and smitten by those beasts and thus turning to and fro in that punishment and worms as it were clouds of darkness afflicting them and the souls of the murdered stood and looked upon the punishment of those murders and said O power thy judgment is just and near that place I saw another straight place into which the gore and the filth of those who were being punished ran down and became there as it were a lake. And there sat women having the gore up to their necks and over against them sat many children who were born to them out of due time crying. And there came forth from them sparks of fire and smote the women in the eyes. And these were the accursed who conceived and caused abortions. And other men and women were burning up to the middle and were cast into a dark place and were beaten by evil spirits. And their inwards were eaten by restless worms. And these were they who persecuted the righteous and delivered them up. And near those there were again women and men gnawing their own lips and being punished and receiving a red hot iron in their eyes. And these were they who blasphemed and slandered the way of righteousness. And over against these again other men and women gnawing their tongues and having flames fire in their mouths. And these were the false witnesses. And in a certain other place there were pebbles sharper than swords or any spit red hot and women and men in tattered and filthy raiment rolling about on them in punishment. And these were the rich who trusted in their riches and had no pity for orphans and widows and despised the commandments of the power. And in another great lake full of pitch and blood and mire bubbling up, there stood men and women up to their knees, and these were the usurers and those who take interest on interest. And other men and women were being hurled down from a great cliff and reached the bottom, and again were driven by those who were set over them to climb up upon the cliff, and thence were hurled down again, and had no rest from this punishment. And these were they who defiled their bodies, acting as women. And the women who were with them were those who lay with one another as a man with a woman. All praises. And alongside that cliff, there was a place full of much fire. And there stood men who were with their own hands and made for themselves carving images instead of the power. And alongside of these were other men and women having rods and striking each other and never ceasing from such punishment. And other again near them, women and men, burning and turning themselves, roasting, and these were they that leave it the way of the power. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's the end reading of the Apocalypse of Peter. I hope you find, find this as a blessing to you. 
Like I always say, meditate on this word. You know, listen to this video a couple of times. May the Lord bless.